Welcome, my peace, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peace, my peoples. Um, so thank you, Denise Williams, for putting me up on this story. So, you know, Amara La Negra, she has inked a deal, a multi-album deal with Fast Life Entertainment Worldwide and BMG. So, yes, she has signed a deal. So, she is in the house. She is in the money. She's going to be putting out music. And hopefully, she's going to get that crossover audience that she does want. And that will be nice. And, you know, I guess Love and Hip Hop Miami ain't so bad after all because we got a breakout star from the show. And I was introduced to her, you know, Tuesday night because I didn't see it on Monday night. And you guys were introduced to her as well or if you already knew her. So, now, you know, she didn't sign multi-album deal and she's going to be making that dough <clears throat> and so her dreams have came true and it kind of, it's kind of refreshing to see this as well especially from you know one of love and hip-hop you know um franchise even though we know cordy b how done did her thing you know so it's so good to see that you know amara la la negra it's actually, you know, embracing her heritage. She's actually embracing that she's black. She's actually embracing that she's Dominican. She's actually embracing that she has black heritage, black ancestors, as well as Dominican too. And she's Latino and they come in all different shapes, form and sizes. You know what I mean? So when you see her, you, you know, you don't automatically think Spanish. You might say, oh, she's a black girl or whatever. But she's saying that she's a, she's a Dominican black girl and she likes her Afro. She likes, she likes the black power, which, you know, young Hollywood, was trying to diss her on um, season season one episode one of Love and Hip Hop Miami, trying to say that she needs to change up. You know, she's not elegant because she wears an afro. She's too much into this black culture thing. You know, she needs to do this. She needs to do that. She needs to change to make it. Well, she made it as being herself. And you know what? I guess that gives a lot of validity, and it's so refreshing to see that someone that stands in their conviction and believes in something, and don't let other people change them, don't let media change them, don't let doors being slammed in their face change them, or people turning their nose up or saying negativity things towards them, or putting them down, telling them, you need to change, you need to assimilate, you need to become the rest of what society looks like and act like. These, this is how most women and you know R and B, hip hop, reggae, and Latino music or reggaeton music how they look you know they have they they have this certain type of style and you need to you need to formulate so you can get put on and she did it she stayed the way that she is she stayed it the way that she wants to stay and so like you know it's refreshing so it's like if you believe in something and you know all these doors are closing in your face you know people are discouraging and telling you like you can have it you can have everything you want if you just change up if you just switch up if you just change who you are if you just become this person and, you know, you feel like you have to, you know, follow, you know, normal, the, the normal path that everyone said you should follow and you don't follow it. But st stick to your guns because you know what? You might shine. You might be a breakout star. Your dreams might come true. Somebody might see what you stand for and be like, you know what? I believe in the same thing you believe in. I believe you're sending a good message. I believe you stand for something. So you know what? I want to stand behind you. So don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on what you believe in, especially if it's something that's powerful as, you know, knowing who your ancestors are and actually being open to who you are and introducing the world to different types and different colors of Latinos so or Spanish people so and also you know some parts of Miami you know you got the Cubans you got Puerto Ricans you got Dominicans you got the Latinos you have all different you have um all different kinds um and um you got the Spain Spaniards and things like that but you know a lot of them don't like black people or think that you know Let's stay away from black people. And then some black people or people that have melanin stay away from Spanish people as well. A Latino people is like it's, a, it's, it's like a disconnect in some areas, you know. But, you know, maybe her, you know, wanting to, you know, have an audience that knows that she believes in what she believes in, that, you know, sh she has African-American and African an ancestors and she's also black or she has melanin and she's Dominican as well. 
um, and all that other good stuff that maybe with her fans and her following, because she has a lot of fans, she has a lot of followers and a lot of people that do like her, maybe her fans will bridge that gap between, like, you know, if they're Spanish, if they're black, if they're white, if they're Latino, where they'll come together and embrace, like, you know what, I like you too, oh, I like you too, oh, I know, okay, I understand that you wear your hair natural, oh, ain't nothing wrong with wearing your hair natural, it ain't nothing wrong with claiming who you are, yeah, you black and you proud, like, you know, young Hollywood was trying to diss her, but so it also sends a good message to young women that you can be what you want to be, and um, you can also look the way that you want to look and be proud of the way you want to look. Maybe you know the Afro, because you know Af- is Afrocentric. The Afro, when it was when the Afro was very popular, it, it stood for power, it stood for knowledge, it stood for you know black power, it stood for let's stay together. That's why he put the hand up, stay together, fight the power, fight the power that be. And so maybe her fans and people that do follow her and do like her will bridge the gap when a when a Latino and a black person or African American meet up together and they're fans of hers maybe they, they'll, they'll start to talk and have a conversation and understand each other more and, and and you know bridge that gap you know it's wishful thinking but it could possibly happen because sometimes it only take one person to start a trend then other people follow so whatever you guys believe in and whatever your hopes and your dreams are and people trying to tell you to change do this unless it's trying to tell you to change for the better, but when it's t- when it's trying to tell you to denounce who you are, to denounce your heritage, to not show your natural hair, to not show um, who you who you really are, or doesn't you know want you to embrace the color of your skin, then you tell them people to kick rocks, basically, because be proud of who you are, whoever you are, whatever race, whatever nationality you are, be be proud of who you are, but don't. Don't diss other people too as well, but be proud, you know? And so this is a good message where, you know, a lot of kids and a lot of young people and a lot of older people are following because, you know, there's some people that probably could have watched the episode and was like, you know what? I like my natural hair. I like this. And it doesn't matter. Or if you have a wig on, you take your wig off and you wear your natural hair. It's nothing wrong with a wig. It's nothing wrong with none of that stuff. As long as you know who you are and you embrace your heritage, you embrace who you are and you love yourself and you don't denounce or or tear down your race. So anyways, I thought it was, I thought it was great. It was wonderful. And I reviewed the show. So congratulations to Amari La Negra and eat that young Hollywood. So peace. I'm out. Never forget your dreams. I'm out. Don't let nobody ever change you to make you something that you're not.